some really good screens. Spacing was, uh, for the most part, really, really good. Um, you know, it's, it's a pretty simple game. What did you see, like, on the top possession? Well, we ran a, it was supposed to be a dribble handoff, but uh, I thought it was a dribble. It was supposed to be a dribble handoff, or he dribble handoff with me, but Jalen Brown was kind of in, in the, denying me. You know what I mean? So I didn't want to fight and fight and the clock run down, so I just gave Joel space to do what he did. And he got so far in the paint that I feel like Jalen Brown wanted to go help. So Joel made an unbelievable pass and, you know, catch and shoot. James, James, James you able to have a game like this, yourself, and then being able to contribute. You left the game and then the game tying for you basket to get that basket for you with your time. What's it mean for you that a game like this and contribute the way you did? No one like this. I just want to win. No matter how it plays out, I just want to win. And quite frankly, today was a, you know, do or die for us. You know what I mean? So. Uh, we found we found a way to win, and that's all that matters in the postseason. So, watch film and get better, be, get better, and be ready to go and see some things that we can get better at, and be ready to go for Game Five. James, what does it mean to win and to have that performance with John in the goal? Oh yeah, it was uh, he's my good luck charm. Um, so me keeping in contact with him, obviously, like any of us in here, it's a tragedy like that to happen. You know what I mean? It's like it's a lot of nonsense that's going on in the world. So, for him to be a, you know, a victim of that is a uh, it's, it's heartbreaking, you know what I mean? But he's strong, he's bouncing back, he's recovering very well, and I feel like it's my job to just give him that light, that smile that he deserves, that he needs. And hopefully, you know, today was one of those days where, you know what I mean, he, he's smiling, and um, that's all I'm here for. Both of you guys, uh, do you believe that the way that you played today, the, the toughness you showed, the resilience, do you think that you either grew as a team or maybe turned it for um, I mean, for me, for me, yeah, I think so. Well, I know so. You know what I mean? Just to be up 15 and then, you know what I mean, cut the lead and they tie the game up and then they take the lead and we keep continue to fight and we don't just shut down and we continue to battle and make shots and make time to possess. Like, that's what playoff basketball is about. And, and, you know, we did that tonight. Of course, we don't want to give up. Like, we're not trying to give up a 15-point lead, but it happens. It's a part of basketball. We, You know, you see it a lot. So... You know, it's like next play, how we'll control what you can control, and 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 keep fighting to you know zero zero on the clock. DJ, <clears throat> I don't know if uh, I don't know if you can answer that until after. I think it's one of those things. If we don't learn from our mistakes today, and the things we didn't do were good, then no. But if we take those things and get better um, in those moments. Uh, making the right decision, whether to fan out to so a shooter or be low man to help, like uh, that stuff matters, and communication in those moment, moments matters. So we'll know uh, we'll know in a few days. It was just aggressive, and that I think for us being assertive and being aggressive is the difference between most of our games. When we come out early, uh, we assert ourselves, uh, and everybody's tied in together. Uh, we're tough, and when we don't, we're not. <laughs> we, we might score a lot of points and still win the game, but um, more times than not in the playoffs, you're not going to win when you're not. So um, we got to continue to do that. James, you talked about, James, James, you talked about uh, the last, you said you looked at film and saw something that you could correct. Was it just the spacing uh, that, that was it? In, in regards to your play, the, the last couple of days, I guess, when you shot five for 28 the last two games. I did? I mean, I'm always motivated and fired up. It's just things don't work out how, how I would like them to, but it's a part of it. But I'm always, I'm a competitor. Like, I always want to win. I always want to be aggressive. I always want to do things to contribute to winning. Like, that's just me. It's no days off with that. You know what I mean? It's no turning it on and turning it off with that. So you know, whether I have 40-something or 18, like I always want to win the game. It's simple. Do you Stay hear the outside noise, though? Do you hear that noise? Like, not one bit. Not one bit. <laughs> yeah, at this stage of your career, um, winning a championship is what you're here for. I mean, you're getting That's it. Yeah. That's it. So uh, t- tuning out the noise, is that part of I mean, it's, it's going to always be noise, whether it's good noise or bad noise. <laughs> like, I've been in this game a very long time. I've heard it all. And it doesn't. Like I, 
don't. I'm, I'm in the gym. Like, I'm in the gym while I'm chilling. So it don't even matter. It don't bother. <laughs> he didn't play a song. He sent me a song. <laughs> Can you guys talk about it? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me not get it wrong. Let me not get it wrong. I think the song is called, I'm on the way to the game, and I get a text from Doc, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? Sorry. Let me. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to. My phone is messing up. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, you know my name. It's a, it's a gospel song, and I'm like, all right, whatever. So I just tell my homies, let's play the song. <laughs> and it's a seven-minute song, but it's like, I let the whole song play, and I'm like, all right, it got to be some kind of ju good juju in this song or whatever, however he's feeling, I want to feel like that. And I guess it works, so whatever. He texted to me for sure, and I put it on. Like, it's the first time he ever texted me a song, so I wanted to see how he was feeling. Can you guys talk about the motivation that you're hoping to sort of use this momentum from this game to um, the game five against the Celtics? You better play it again on when we play <laughs> Tuesday. You better play it again. James, <laughs> you more guys in that second quarter when you when you got rolling, what were you trying to attack with their defense, and how much did that kind of hit you the rhythm and carry you the rest of the game? Sorry, I'm looking for the song. Okay. What's in, in the second quarter when you got going? What were you trying to attack with their defense, and how much do you feel like that helps you catch rhythm? Yeah, they're, they're they're a really good team, yeah, especially when you give them. It's later in the shot clock, and and they load up and they show their length and, and things like that. So for us, it's just getting the ball. And, and I'm sure they, they say the same thing, you know, it's vice versa as far as getting the ball up. And they're one of the best teams, not if the best team, and scoring in the first 10 seconds. So for us, is if they score, which they're going to score, we get the ball up and we, we make sure our spacing, we run wide, and we give ourselves a chance. And Paul Reed did a really good job of setting screens and rolling, and uh, we had space. And, you know, George gave us some big shots and Milt. Um, you know, so it's going to be a collective effort. Whoever steps on that floor, you're capable of having a big game. And so just told the guys to stay ready and, and, and let's get stops. And the more stops we can get, the better our, our chances of scoring uh, we have. Can you, can you take us to uh, two key plays? The um, one, I guess, was on the court, the three-point play you had, and then the other one, when, when the camera showed you kind of firing Joel off underneath the basket. Um, the three-point play is just – Will, determination, just wanted to win. Uh, I just got back in the game, so I had to leave imprint somehow. And um, usually it's offensive rebound in those moments when James or Joe or Tyrese are attacking. Um, and the Joe play is just me. Like, I don't – nobody can guard Joe one-on-one. -on -one. There's no way. I'm sorry. It's not a disrespect to Al or anybody else. But I guard him for a lot of years. And when he's aggressive and assertive – it's impossible, and I've seen them two or three plays in a row not do that, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and we can't have that. We can't have that. Not with a season on the line, we can't have it. James, you guys picked up P.J. for his toughness and his leadership. Can you talk about how important that is in these type of series? And he came up really big at the end. Can you just kind of talk about how he hyped you guys up and seemed like kind of gave you an extra push towards the end there? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, we were teammates, you know what I mean? So I know the work that he puts in. I know his will to win no matter what the stat sheet shows. And I know how valuable he is. So, um, And then going up against him the last two postseasons, like he's somebody that, that loves to win and, and plays winning basketball, and you need that on your team if you're trying to win a championship So, um, or if you're trying to compete for a championship. So um, he's valuable. Like he's the guy that everybody needs on their team that doesn't need the ball, that doesn't complain, that's going to do all the small, dirty work that a lot of guys don't want to do. You know what I mean? Everybody wants to shoot and look pretty and dunk the ball and shoot the three and, you know what I mean, get the ESPN highlights. But he's the charges and diving on the floor and picking up the best – like, he does all that. Um, so he's just uh, – he's a great addition to our team and he just uh, – he's very special. James, in terms of a pivotal win, how, how much of a pivotal win was this when you considered you're up and then you're down and you – it was a it was a must win for us honestly. It's just it's just it's easy must win. James, when the team has great offensive players, it can evolve into my turn, your turn. Mm -hmm. Is it the spacing that that is critical to to the movement y'all had tonight, so that the, your shots and Joel's shots all came out of the flow? Though. Correct, and that and that's I think one of the things in game two and even last game, we kind of got away from. 
Um, and then, like, the ball finds – like it's gonna find open open guy when we space the floor, we do the things that we we need to do. It'll find an open shot. You know, what I mean, not only just me and Joel, but just everybody who's who's open. So once we get that, which tonight we had, a, we we did that at a high level consistently. Um, then that's just great offense for us. And and you know we got to be we got to be ready to do that game five. Last we question from, here for now. We heard from uh, Doc that Bill Nelson was honest in the conversation. What was that like? And, and <laughs> On me? Uh, um, my film is always honest, honestly. Like, when we doing bad things and we're not playing together offensively or we not en- engaged and together defensively, like, we, we see it. So it was another great film session for us, and we know what we're supposed to be doing. Like, we're game four. Like, they know our plays. We know their plays. It's about a matter of who wants it, who wants it more, who wants to win, and... You know, tonight we we did a really good job of that. Thanks, James. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.